I love to make shoes. I would make shoes for free. For the past 50 years, Bill Klingbeil has crafted shoes that have earned him a worldwide reputation because these shoes just happen to sit on ice skates. A pair of Klingbeil skates has become the footwear of choice for some of America's top athletes. Figure skating is currently one of North America's most popular sports and has been a competitive one since the 1908 Olympics. Bill has spent many years perfecting these tools of the trade. We're the architects. We build the houses, but we can't drive a nail. We can't skate, but we know what's wrong. We watch for it, our skaters, and then we make improvements. We know we're crafting the skates for champions, but the idea is that we treat all the skaters the same. There's no difference. We just make the best boot. At the Klingbeil Shoe Labs in the New York City borough of Queens, Bill and his son Don continue a long tradition of making skate boots the old-fashioned way. Each is handcrafted using tried and true methods developed over a lifetime. I started here when I was about seven years old sweeping the floor. My father's been in for over 50 years and we've learned every year to do them better and better and better. Nothing's perfect, <laughs> but we try the best we can. The boot is the most important part of figure skating because the boot has to be an extension of your leg. It has to fit absolutely perfect. Each boot begins with a carefully drawn sketch of the foot based upon a series of precise measurements. These details will be carved into a wooden block called a last. It's a measurement that has to be precise. They take all different variety of measurements and you have to check the foot shape. And then from there, we make a wooden form, which is called a last. And we make every last for each individual person. And we can choose it again and again for that person. And they'll always have the same exact boot every single time. If it's always the same and they're skating good, you never want to change that. The lasts are carved out of blocks of maple harvested from Canadian tree farms. Each block will be transformed into an exact replica of the skater's foot. My father is probably one of the best model makers that are around. He has a specific machine, a Gilman lathe, that he's been using since I was very, very young. And he does a very good job, and he's been doing it a long time. I make modifications as I'm carving. In other words, I can make a narrower toe, broad ball, and a narrow heel. You can just look at the foot and you'll see, oh, this person is Irish or Italian or Russian or Greek. And if you really take a look at people's feet, you'll see that they are different. They're all different. <laughs> different combinations. Once the last is formed, the leather uppers of the boot are built. The tops are cut from patterns that Bill has hand-drawn to match the dimensions of the last. Then the layers of leather that will pad the inside of the boot are cemented together. There's a lot of different piecework that goes into it. You don't realize how much there really is. In a skating boot, you could have anywhere from about 17 different pieces that go into a boot up to about 26 and 27 pieces. Once both halves of the uppers are assembled and shaped, the tongue of the boot is attached. This is the final step of the upper making process, but the boot is far from finished. The lightnings go in and they're sewn. The tongues go in and they're sewn separately. And then they're ready to go on to the last. A lasting machine wraps and glues the leather upper over the wooden last. It is then secured with staples and nails to hold it together until the glue dries. It's a great skill and there's a lot involved. There's about 121 operations to make in a pair of shoes. Insoles, called slip soles, are stitched to build the boot's bottom. Slip soles are usually stitched on with a big heavy stitcher, a big McKay stitcher. Most skating boots are made like that today. Then a sole goes on. That sole is trimmed, filled, and a heel goes on. Once the boot is fully assembled, the final finished work is done. The entire process can take anywhere from one to two weeks, and these one-of-a-kind boots will sell for about $500 a pair. All of these things are trimmed and they're buffed off to a nice gloss and filled with leather fillers, and, they, and the leather bottom actually looks like a piece of wood. 
After we get done with the whole boot, we put the blade on or someone else will put the blade on a boot. And they are separate because there's many different blade styles that people want. My favorite part in making the boots, uh, believe it or not, is the, the truth is, is the satisfaction you get when you do it right and it feels really good. What makes a good boot is a boot that looks nice, it fits well, it has durability, and it works for the skater. When you're watching them, there's a lot relying on their boots. I love watching them skate, I really do. I'm a nervous wreck, but I love watching them. We watch the boots and then we make improvements so that they will do better. And that is surely the secret behind this 50-year marriage, as both the Clean Biles and their skaters work hard to be the very best. The harder they try, the harder we try. That's all we can do. The people appreciate it. They win.